Hey guys! So tonight is a special night. Um, I was invited to be the guest artist on the Thousand and Under collaboration. So I am totally stoked to be here and I want to thank you lovely ladies for having me. Now this is a group of artists that are trying to reach a thousand subscribers on their YouTube channels and hitting that number is so tough sometimes, but we're here to help them achieve that goal. We are also celebrating my sweetheart of a friend, Amy McKeon, who has graduated from this group and now has over 1,200 subs. This is so well-deserved and she is a very talented and creative artist. So congratulations, honey. So I got to choose what we're all doing tonight and my only requirement was that everyone has to use pigments in their pour and it cannot be a bloom or a bloom swipe. Fairly easy challenge, right? Or is it? You know, I see so many posts in our various Facebook groups from people that are so excited to have purchased pigments or micas for the very first time, and they take pictures of them, they show us, and then they ask, but how do I use them? They have no idea how to mix them up, or how to use them in their everyday pours. So that is why I have asked everyone tonight to use their pigments and hopefully we'll be able to show some folks how they can be mixed up and different ways to incorporate them into fluid acrylics. And in that spirit here, when I am done showing the colors, I will very quickly show you how I mixed up mine for this piece. All right, guys, so this is how I mixed my pigments for this specific pour. I've got a three ounce cup and I put a couple of healthy squirts of Josanya in there. Because I'm using pigments on a bigger canvas, I want a little more pigments. Uh, I wanna make sure that they're strong. So I take about half of that spoon of pigment and I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix in the Josanya. That's a beautiful color. That's actually cranberry. It's a primary elements by color art. But once that is good and mixed, I'm gonna scrape the sides here just to make sure it's all dissolved. I'm gonna add a healthy squirt of golden GAC 800, another healthy squirt of golden color pouring medium. I think it's gloss, color gloss or gloss color pouring medium. And this, the next one is my regular Liquitex pouring medium. So by the time you have got your pigments and those three mediums in there, your cup should be about half full. And we're gonna top it off with some Floetrol and by the time you're done, your cup should be about two thirds of the way full. But this is the perfect consistency that we want. We don't want it too thick because it needs to run. The way that we're gonna tilt it, it needs to run. So it's not too thin either, but this is like literally the perfect consistency. You don't need any water. Um, you can see the consistency there and that's what you wanna do. Now I want you to remember there are a lot of different ways to mix pigments depending on your technique. And if you have a different recipe for mixing them, that is great as long as the consistency that we're going for here is the same. Um, it needs to be much thicker than water, but thin enough that it's going to run very easily when you tilt your canvas. Oh, 
I am so sorry that I was in the way when I first started this. Um, poor, it's, I didn't realize it was so far to the left over there in the camera. Um, but what I'm doing is putting in a little bit of the pearl mix and then I've got two shades of each color. I have a light one and a dark one. So basically what I'm doing is just kind of blending those two um, so that there's not just one gradient of color. Uh, when they blend, they make several. So um, that's what I'm doing with the blue and the green here and that's how we'll continue the process um, down the canvas.
Now here I am just very quickly going around and fixing my sides. You have to remember on the ends of your canvas, we didn't tilt that direction. So there's not gonna be a whole lot of paint on either end. So you've gotta take your drippings and go back and fix that. I think this is just the sweetest, most cheerful little piece I have done in a while. She is definitely one of my favorites. I can see this in a little girl's room or definitely a beach house. There's some beachy colors in there, but then some added color as well, which is always good. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you again, ladies of the Thousand and Under collaboration for inviting me. I had a wonderful time. And now we're going over to Amy McKeon Arts channel. This is gonna be her last video in this collaboration. Thank you so much for being here and supporting these wonderful ladies. Do me a favor, go subscribe to all their channels. They are definitely worth it. They can teach you a lot and you won't be sorry, I promise. Have a great one. I'll see you soon.